are back at swathing today. We've got another field done. You can see it here behind the swather. And dad showed up because the new air conditioner has arrived. So, in the compressor, the compressor for the air conditioner. So, hopefully, in a little while and less than an hour, I will have cooling in the cab, and that will be very exciting. Hopefully. There's the optimism. No guarantees. Threshold. He can fix anything. So, we're going to put it on high speed and let you watch the master at work while I clean the mud off of my sickle. See, it has those little, those little O-rings in them, and they're also right here, so it's kind of a duplicate. So you can hang those on one of your... <clears throat> so what are you doing? I'm putting on new fittings on the top, um, because the old ones give us a little trouble. Uh, Goof and Puggy, is it in there? There was one in here. I don't see it. You got a uh, pipe tape though. Didn't find any? No. Gandalf, don't let me down! Check it. Oh good. Gandalf's a leatherman. Yeah, so the new fittings gave us a little trouble by doing what? They, they didn't seem to tighten. They exited stage left. Yeah. So hopefully these don't do that. 10-4. So we're putting the good old goof and pucky on them, which as you all know is uh, aluminum anti-seize. Did you know? Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, next thing we gotta do, we gotta get this pulley off of this one. That should be a 9 16 Make that a half inch. Between, where is it? It should come right off because I just put it on. So what happened was, we just got done rebuilding the AC while we were doing our maintenance. And first round out of the gate, the hose fittings jumped off, and we lost all of our coolant. And uh, hold that up for just a second, like this. You're gonna be my vice. Oh, hang on, I have to hold. So we lost our coolant, um, we tried to reattach the fittings but they wouldn't stay tight for some reason. Um, so we had to scrap that one and get a new compressor. We don't want to lose that keyway. It seems to be stuck in there. So 
Now we're changing the magnet over to the other one. Part doesn't come with the new one. Got one hand to take some screws off. Filming and working on stuff is hard. What is filming and working on stuff? Yeah, just ask Nick. <laughs> okay. Where's the other one? It's in. Oh. Want to run a couple? That's what I live for. Mm-hmm. I'm going to explain a little bit about how an air conditioner compressor works. Well, it has to cycle. It doesn't run continuous, it cycles on and off and on and off so that it doesn't freeze the evaporator, which is what keeps you cool in the cab. So this magnet is what engages the compressor when it's told to by a little charge of electricity. So it turns it on, turns it off, turns it on, turns it off over the course of hours or what have you. and. Uh, just shoots a little cold Freon up into the evaporator and it cycles all the way around to the condenser which is out in front of the tractor or uh, in this case the swather in the rear but by the um, radiator. radiator that's what it cools and uh, everything has to work right in order for it to work it's they're finicky things I was so proud of ourselves for getting it all fixed, all new parts and everything, and the first thing that went hen house. Bummer. We're not really sure why. Yeah, that's the other thing. I wish I knew exactly why. This one comes with a new uh, keyway. keyway, so we're not worried about that. So once again, a keyway is a little piece of. Uh, you can probably zoom on that. Metal that um, helps lock the shaft in place and they're very tiny and you don't want to lose them or get them squished out of shape more goof and pucky just can't have enough goof and pucky you really appreciate Goof and Pucky when you go to take things apart that are that have been out in the weather for the last 20 years. Okay, what do we forgot, Aaron? <sighs> I don't think we've forgotten anything. Okay. Let me slightly rattle buzz that guy on there. Okay, let's put her in. Aaron's gonna put them bolts back in. Yes, that I just took out off the bottom. Yep. I'm gonna hook up all the hoses and start vacuuming down. As soon as I hook up the hoses, I can run the vacuum pump, even though the compressor isn't fully in place, so. All right, well, let's get to work.
Okay, the compressor's in. We've hooked up the vacuum pump, which is going to pull any moisture out of it. And since we're out in the field, we have to run it with the generator we were so kindly given by Kevin Bousquet. It's been a great generator. This will take about 20 minutes, so we'll get it back and down. And then Aaron and I, we might go on a crop tour while it's pulling down. Hey, Fire it up. Gotta love a Honda. Yeah. Changing sound, right? Yep. So what should happen here is this gauge should go well into the green. Should pull about 25 inches of vacuum. And then that's taking all the moisture out of the system and anything else since the system was open. Okay, we'll check back later. This is gonna go against conventional wisdom here. Oh, it is? Because most, most AC types you do standing up, not inverted. Okay. But this is a different kind. We're all vacuumed down. System is holding. Now we're gonna try and fill it with the liquid freon. So we just did that to make sure that all of the oxygen is out of the line. Once you saw the white uh, stuff coming out, that's the Freon, so it's full of Freon now, not oxygen. We're going to open up that valve, and that's going to put it into the Low pressure side. Compressor. Low pressure side, yeah. Doesn't look like we have any leaks. Not like last time. No. Hopefully, if this works, we will have cool air in the cab. What a revelation. On a 60 degree day. Yeah, don't even need AC today, but that's fine. This will be for later. See, it's supposed to make, basically equalize. And then they say you've got about a half a charge in there. kind of hard to tell because these uh, gauges are at uh, different things, but this one is a little bit above 60. And this one right now is at about 75. We're not hooked up to the red one. Oh. Well, you said that it equalized. No, it equalizes between that tank and this tank, or, you know, the whole system. Okay, all right. It's equalizing. You can't see that it's equalizing. We're about to get company. Who is it? These gauges are old and cheap. How long do we let it do this? Thinks it has 65 pounds in it. Let's say right about there. AC is off currently. It won't, I'm going to turn that all the way down. We're going to hit it.
back to square one. I guess we don't get any AC today.